Hey, good morning. Let's go over today's trade plan. So in the overnight session, the buyers have been dominant and in control, and the market has pretty much been trending higher. And at this point, we've seen ES test above Friday's high, where we've seen a little bit of profit taking come in, but uh, the trend is still clearly to the upside. Off the open, we're going to be watching to see if we are seeing continued signs of strength, and if the market is indeed in a upside trend right now, then ideally we see it holding above 47.75 to 49.75. That would serve as a confirmation that the buyers are continuing to be in control and the upside objective would be 57 to 59. Now technically responsive sellers can be active at the 57 to 59 zone, but given how strong the overnight session has been and if that theme continues into RTH, 57 to 59 may not be a spot to short the market. It's a good spot to look to take profit and depending on how the market approaches it and what type of signals we're seeing in real time, there could potentially be a short, but the overnight session has been so strong that if that theme continues into RTH, the market does not necessarily have to stop at 57.59. It could test a little bit higher at 61 and then the stronger areas of resistance are at 67 to 69.5 and then of course we have the all-time high at 72 to 73. So off the open, we may not be able to find a good spot to get on board on the long side simply because the market is set to open on such a strong gap higher, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we have to short the market either. And that's really gonna be the challenge off the open today is that the market's opening on a very wide gap and we're not necessarily gonna have good trade location on the long side, but clearly the buyers are dominant, so we don't want to get aggressive on the short side either, unless we're seeing some pretty clear cut signs that uh, are signaling now sellers stepping back into the market. So if the market is truly strong, then it could hold above 47.75 to 49.75. Below that, we have support at 45 quarter. It's essentially an overnight breakout spot. The overnight low at 40 quarter, and then once you start breaking those levels, then clearly the overnight trend has shifted and you're back into more of a balanced market. Then we have support at 36 to 38, and really the key support is 27 to 29 half. That's really the strong area of support, and that's where we would finally get some really good trade location. So off the open, keep an eye on 47.75, 49.75, and 45 quarter. If the market is indeed strong, then those are the areas that we should actually hold. And if we start failing there, then it puts the entire overnight trend into question. And that means we need to be a little more cautious on the long setups as well. On the upside, holding above pre-market support could easily bring a test of 57 to 59 and potentially 61. And then beyond that, the reward to risk doesn't really favor new buyers anymore. So in the event that we get really stretched, into 67 to 69 half, that would be a good spot for shorts to step in. But there could be something ahead of that too, uh, but that's something we'll have to monitor in real time. Uh, because beyond 61, things start to skew more to the sell side. But uh, 57, 59 is a zone that we have to monitor in real time and then determine whether it's a worthwhile short setup or not. Um, you know, it's the HVN of the balance and we could get some profit taking there. But if the trend is really strong, into 57.59, then there may not be enough reward potential to justify shorting that zone. So those are the main ideas heading into the open. Let's see if the buyers can keep ES above the 47.75 to 49.75. That'll be a really good tell on the bias on the daytime frame, and we'll take it from there.